Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Wednesday to you. Nisi Black here. It is Wednesday, January the 3rd. January the 3rd. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope that you had a blessed holiday season. We are in January 2018 now, and it's time to kind of wrap up the, the notch a little bit on everything that we have been doing. And I came to you last week, wished you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It is such a beautiful day, and I'm so excited to be with you today for this week's edition of Midweek Motivation and Mind Check. My holiday season, my new year was amazing. Had an absolutely fabulous time loving on family and friends, getting a little bit of downtime, taking some time away to smell the roses. And you know what? That is so necessary sometimes to just, you know, take some downtime to rejuvenate, smell the roses, look at the simpler things in life that made you happy and kind of get back to that, right? So I had an opportunity to do that this past weekend. But hey, it's January. Thanks for joining me. I see you, Lisa. Derek, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys because there is a gazillion million other things that you could be doing right now. But if you're catching me live, thank you for your time. If you're catching the replay, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend just a few moments with me for this week's midweek motivation. So, hey, uh, in case you started out the week, it was a holiday Monday. So most of you didn't go to work, didn't do much of anything. Everybody's setting their 2018 goals and they're planning what it is their resolution is going to be. But I want you to focus on. Checking the pulse on where you are. Checking the pulse on where you started out with your goals. And every day, take a look and see how you are making a mark towards what it is that you want, right? That's what it's about. Midweek motivation and mind check is just to interrupt your space for even a moment so that you can take a reality check on where you are. If you've gotten off track, then now's the opportunity to get back on track and get back into the swing of things and get that joy back or push forward a little more. You know, that's what it's about. Hi, Sunita. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you, Miesha. Thank you so much. So listen, last week I talked a little bit about my focus word for 2018, which is diligence or diligent, whichever version you want to go with. I'm going to use both because in the context of which I'll use it will vary. So I can be diligent in pursuing things and then I can uh, operate due diligence in, you know, contracts or getting out there to get speaking engagements or promoting my business, whatever that is. So diligent diligence. But I want you to understand the concept of that word, meaning to persevere, to stick with it, to push through, to be diligent, to overturn every rock. So if you say this is what I want, how committed and persistent and constant are you going to be are you willing to be to get to what it is that you say you want so my focus word for 2018 is diligence slash diligent and i want you to think of four things when you say the word diligent because this is what i'm going to go by fast meaning f for faith a for action s for support and T for tenacity. When you decide that there is something you want to go after, something you want to pursue with all diligence, then keep in mind faith, action, support, and tenacity. Number one being faith. You got to believe that whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you are working towards, you're capable of, of achieving. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Why even bother if you don't have the faith enough to believe that you can bring it to pass, right? So you got to have, even if it's just a small idea that maybe doesn't have much substance right now, but if you start putting in your faith and start exploring the concept and exploring the depth of what it is that you want and believe within yourself that you can get it, have just a little bit of faith in your goals, a little bit of faith in your talent, a little bit of faith that it might, I might go at a turtle's pace, but if I'm making progress 
every step of the way and I'm moving forward every step of the way, then I have faith that if I made this step, then I can make the next step. And if I've gotten this far, I can get a little bit farther. So faith is number one. Have faith in yourself, in your ability to achieve what it is that you want, your ability to bring in the clients that you want, your ability to get that degree, to start that business, to have a good marriage, to build your confidence in your self-esteem. And that's exactly what having faith in yourself will do. Be true to who you are and, and to your heart's desire, right? And have a little bit of faith. However, faith without action, without works is not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> so have faith, but put that faith to work. Don't just make it all pretty, all these lofty ideas, and then go set it on the shelf with the rest of your books and the rest of your whatever. You got to put a little, a little bit of action behind your faith in order for it to work, in order for it to make a difference. So talk is cheap. Talk will get you started, right? But you got to put some faith, put some action, put your little hands to work, put your ideas out there. Start executing everything that you said you wanted to do. Because listen, I am as guilty as anybody. I'll have this idea and it's like, oh man, I really want to do this. And then five minutes later, I'm like, okay, that sounds like a lot of work. So I'm just going to think about it and think about it and think about it and nothing ever happens. So until I slap myself in the face and come to myself and say, well, if, it's, if it is to be, if it is to be, if it is to be, it's up to me to get it done. Let me show you. Let me show you guys real quick. I created this this little thing right here. I hope it's I hope it's let's see. If it is to be, it is up to me. It is up to me to forward my goals and my dreams and to put the actions into what it is I say I want to do. If it is to be, it is up to me. And then we'll move right into the S, which is support. I'm not an island. I am not a rocket scientist. I know that I need a steady, constant team of people supporting me. I need to be able to draw upon the strengths and the talents and the smarts, the brilliance of other people. So I need to surround myself with those people who understand the concept of my vision, who believe also in the concept of my, my, my vision, who is willing to help me execute and guide me. So I need a coach, I need a mentor, I need a support team. I need all of these people that are on the same, you know, I don't, I don't wanna just get any old body, <laughs> right? Don't surround yourself with any old body, but surround yourself with a network of support that will challenge your thinking, right? Be unafraid to say when I have lost my way, gotten off track, doing something stupid, and they they're not they're not afraid to hurt my feelings. They will be honest and authentic with me and telling me the truth, giving me their opinion, sharing their voice, and I'm open to accepting the support and the help that I am given because I know it's not. My, my vision is greater than me. It's not about me. It's about getting out there and making an impact positively in the world. And I cannot do that by myself. I don't care how brilliant, how many degrees I got, how many anything, much more. I cannot do this alone. So I need people in my life, in my space, in my business, in my circle that I can call upon and say, hey, brainstorm with me about this. This is what I want to do. Can you give me some insight? Can you give me some input? And I am not so old, so stuck on myself that everybody has to agree with exactly what it is that I want to do. I want somebody that's going to give me some pushback. Honestly, I want somebody that's going to tell me the truth and be unafraid to hurt my little old funky feelings so that I can get it. That's the only way I'm going to grow. So I have to have, you have to have a network of support around you, 
okay? And then the T stands for tenacity. You got to have some stick to it in this. You got to have some perseverance. You got to have some, some glue <laughs> to keep you focused and moving forward when things get rough and when things get challenging because they will. They will. And not to say that everything will be perfect. It won't be perfect. Everything will not always go smoothly. Your plans won't always work out the way that you intend it. But guess what? How else are you going to learn how to adjust if everything is going perfect, right? How will you ever appreciate the, the struggle and appreciate what it took you to get to that next level of success if you have everything laid out on a silver platter, all tied in a bow, you never have to struggle, you never have to pray, you never have to cry, you never have to stay up all night, do it. How will you know the legitimacy of your success if you never had to bleed into it, pour into it, stick with it, right? We gotta, there is just so much popcorn stuff. There's no such thing unless you're playing a lottery and you hit your million dollars on Powerball, that's instant financial gain. But most things realistically is going to take time. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some sacrifice, sacrifice of your time, of your money, of your energy. Are you willing to do that? Will you be tenacious in the, in the pursuing of your goal? Will you be diligent in sacrificing what is necessary? Now, I'm not talking about stupid stuff. I'm not, <laughs> who defines what stupid stuff is? <laughs> stupid stuff is, you know, subjective to whoever is going through it. But the value of your time, the value of your energy, the value of your inbox, the value of how you treat people, the value of your, of your conscious choice and decision to show up anyway, anyway. Your willingness to say no to some things that do not serve you. Your willingness to say yes and being open to the possibility of creating more and doing something greater. The willingness to get outside of a box, get, get outside of the closed doors and spread yourself. Not too thin, right? Because you want to be able to have the energy and the fortitude to stand and to serve. And you serve from your overflow. You keep your cup filled and then you serve from your overflow. So be diligent, right, in whatever it is that you decide you want to do and you want to achieve, right? Fast, faith, action, support, and tenacity. All of that combined and your diligence to commit to whatever it is you want to achieve. So my word, my focus is my diligence and the fast action that I'm going to take to get there my faith, my action, my support team, and my inside gut tenacity, ability to stick with it through the long, long term. You know, a lot of people, they want to get out there and play the stock market. They want to be an instant overnight success. And then when things go sour and they lose stuff, and it's like, okay, well, let me rethink that. Yeah, re rethink that. Invest in yourself, invest and be willing to be in this thing for the long haul. That's what makes the difference. And then you can look at everything that you have accomplished with, with pride and with confidence and, and self-assuredness. And it's like, oh my goodness, I accomplished that, that was me. <laughs> that was the God working in me because I can't do anything without, without him, right? I know where my help comes from. I know where my strength lies. And I know that I can't do anything without Christ. I got that. But look at, look at what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm messing with you guys. So rem remember that. Think about that. Think about that. What are you going to be focused on being diligent in? What are you going to be applying your faith, your action, your support, your tenacity to this 2018? Because the one goal we don't want is to be the same place this time next year right? We don't want to spend all year talking about what it is that we're going to do. And then at the end of the year, go, dang, I missed my goals. Well, how diligent, I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to myself. So y'all just 
Hold please on this side and let me say something to Nisi. How diligent are you going to be at making sure that you're not in the same place this time next year? That you have something to show for what it is that you are doing. You're not just wasting time because that is a commodity that once you spend it, you don't get it back. We don't have a lot of time for a whole bunch of redos and reovers and restarts. If it's necessary, yes, but always make some progress forward. Even if it's, you know, baby steps, they count too. Okay, so back to my regularly scheduled program. <laughs> If you have not already set your 2018 goals, do it now, do it now, do it now. And I know that from December to January, changing of one calendar year from the next is just time. But you can start setting in new goals to accomplish whenever you decide. It doesn't have to be January. It could be February. And if you find yourself off track, any time is an opportunity to get to get started again, to, to reconfigure and, and, and get back on track, right? That's, that's what it's about. No more wasting time. No more procrastinating. No more sitting by and, and watching other people like, what's she doing over there on that post? Oh, man, I had that idea two years ago, but I didn't execute on it. So now God has given <laughs> this opportunity to somebody else. Dag nabbit, we don't want to be that. Right? Okay, I'm through. I'm off my soapbox. Fast. F-A-S-T. Faith, action, support, tenacity. And let's be diligent in 2018 and going after what it is that we say we want for our life, for our business, for our career, for our relationships, right? For our peace, for our sanity, for our self-care, right? We got to be diligent in taking care of ourselves. Don't let that go by the wayside. Don't burn a midnight oil all night, every night, and then be passed out. Take care of yourselves, love on yourselves, be true to your heart, be true to your dreams and your desires, and you can get anywhere you want to get, where you want to go. Okay, so if you're not already connected in our private Facebook group, uh, I share the link, join there, because I'm going to be doing a lot more there and a lot less on my personal timeline, perhaps, um, but it's all about growth. And it's all about making an impact positively in the lives of others to make sure that I'm leaving a legacy a positivity of inspiration and not just that but offering people the tools that they need to be able to maneuver their life however way they want right that's what it's about so i put the link in there make sure that you're connected if you are not subscribed to my live streams whenever i go live make sure that you're subscribed so that you can uh, stay abreast whenever i do and make sure that you're sharing because other people need to hear this as well okay thank you guys for joining me hey scott oh my gosh hey scott k Lynn, I love you, darling. I'll see you Saturday for our sister supporting uh, sister networking time. Got my laptop. I'm ready. Love you guys. Have a beautiful Wednesday, and I'll chit-chat with you later.